Welcome to this week's webisode of The Better Half. I'm Kendra D. St. Aubin. This is Katie Hartley. We're going to take a look back at what's been going on this week. Kendra, let's get started with some of our favorite tweets from the week. The first one is from Oakland A's pitcher Brandon McCarthy asking Siri, how do you get Josh Hamilton out? I thought this was such a funny tweet. All kinds of replies he got, but Kendra, what did you think? I thought it was hilarious. I didn't actually see this when it really happened on Twitter, and I literally laughed out loud when I found out about it because Hamilton is so incredibly sick right now. I mean, his numbers, he's yeah. batting 402, you know, 18 home runs, 40-some RBI. It's ridiculous, and I don't think anyone yeah. has a clue how to get him out. So not a lot of hard-hitting baseball news there, but the fact that even other pitchers respect him enough and they're joking around. Oh, I thought it was great. definitely. And I think he meant it in a very lighthearted way. I thought about, hmm, what were some of the possible responses from Siri? Something like, I don't know, it's not on your calendar or something. Yeah, exactly. That was, I, I thought that was uh, really cute. Another cute tweet that I saw this past weekend um, for Mother's Day was from Kevin Love who says, on a day like today, you know all the athletes are secretly wishing their moms would come by at halftime with orange slices and Capri Suns. Love that, because I totally can remember that. Yeah. I, mean, I remember, you know, out on the soccer field and the mom coming down with the orange slices and the Capri Sun or whatever your fruit juice box of choice was mm -hmm. at that time, depending on how old you are. And I thought that was great. I think, first of all, belated Happy Mother's Day to everybody. We didn't mm -hmm. get a chance to say that last week, but... Again, just another lighthearted tweet in the middle of the NBA Finals, and, and some of the teams are struggling, so yep. I think Kevin Love is thinking of those guys. Hey, maybe a little orange slices and Capri Sun would help you out. Yeah, and we got a couple of teams who really need those orange slices and Capri Suns. A lot of compelling headlines in the NBA this year for the playoffs. Everything from the Heat being without Bosch to the Lakers and that disaster in Oklahoma City becoming sort of the darlings of the NBA playoffs. Kinder, what do you think? Well, first of all, I think this might finally be the year for Oklahoma City. I mean, they've gone through their struggles the last couple of years getting bumped in the playoffs, but I think this might be the year, and it's definitely not the Lakers year. I mean, yeah. Bynum was fined again for not talking to the media. You look at the body language of that team with Kobe Bryant and those guys, they just they do not look like they enjoy each other at all, and I'm a big proponent of chemistry, so I think the Lakers are going to be out. And then, of course, like you said, Bosch being out, I think the Heat is maybe realizing that he's more important than anyone thought. And I think maybe everyone else is, too, because everyone kind of said Bosch is the third wheel with that, you know, threesome with LeBron and, and Dwayne Wade and Bosch. I think people are realizing well, how important he yeah, is. Yeah, and all of a sudden, I don't think anybody's actually picking the Pacers to win this series. But it makes you go, should they be a little bit nervous? Because they're clearly not as good of a team without him. But I like the Meta World Peace James yeah. Harden yeah. thing going on. Of course, I did not want to see Meta World Peace playing at all in the playoffs, but David Stern had a different opinion about mm -hmm. that. Um, I, I don't, it, it still feels uncomfortable to me after he's like, I'm not going to shake the hand of a substitute, mm -hmm. really. Well, and he didn't call him afterwards. He's like, I just kind of heard through the grapevine how he was doing. It wasn't a big deal. I mean, to me, it's like just step up and be the bigger person there, even if you're going to fake it. But I love the Pacers. I mean, going yeah. back to that, I, I think that's that's an interesting matchup, and people underestimated them, too. Yeah, definitely. Well, in another interesting matchup from the weekend at the Madrid Open was Serena Williams calling out her male counterparts. I thought this was very funny, this quote. Uh, Serena Williams says, women are tougher than men. That's why we have the babies. We don't complain. We're not going to go out there and be weenies. Now, she is referring to the blue clay that is uh, on the court in, uh, in Madrid. <laughs> Kendra, what do you think about Serena spouting off like I that? loved it. I thought it was great. I mean, first of all, it's clay. It's the same exact. <laughs> it's just blue instead of red. You know, guys get over it. Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal, they mm -hmm. lost early in that tournament, so of course they're going to complain and blame something else. Serena Williams basically walked right through yep. the rounds, and she dominated. And I think she just totally called I thought it was great. What did yeah. you think? Yeah, well, she notched her second straight tournament win this past weekend, and Nadal, of course, lost in the round of 16. So it does kind of make sense that Nadal would be complaining, and she would be saying, <laughs> shut your mouth, because she won and he lost. Mm -hmm. But I like it. I like to see these female athletes go out there and say, listen, we're not complaining. We're on the same playing field as you guys, mm -hmm. and they're the ones who are... Well, whoever's right. beating them is playing on the same surface. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how you can ever complain or blame the field yeah. or the turf or the clay or whatever's that you're playing on when your opponent is playing on the exact same surface. Yeah. So 
get over it, suck it up, and <laughs> move on. I mean, seriously, it's, it's just a bunch of whiners. Yeah, great stuff from Serena Williams. Uh, and we are out of time, Kendra. Until next week, you can follow her on Twitter at Kendra620. You can follow me at FunKatie620. And we'll be back next week for another webisode of The Better Half.